Well, the president of NUP, His Excellency Bobby Wine, has been put on pressure. Who has put him on pressure? And what is the problem? Stand by for the details. Well, in other news, Jen Ruth Achenk, the Minister of Health right here in Uganda, is in trouble. You cannot believe the latest news I have from her camp. Stand by for the details. And lastly, in other news, I have very sad news. Yes, I have very sad news. We have actually lost another university student and I'm going to give you all the details about this story. A very good morning. How are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting off with Bobby Wine, uh, a section of opposition members, especially from NUP, led by Abitex Promotions, are considering to counter Mohozi Kanerugaba's birthday by organizing something big in the city. Now, Mohozi is celebrating his birthday over the weekend, and they are saying his birthday is taking too much attention from the media. Actually, Abitex has suggested that His Excellency Bobby Wine should invite all NUP supporters at his One Love Beach in Busabala to remember all the people that were lost during the campaigns, uh, those who were tortured, and even those who are still in prisons. However, some people have bought the idea and others have not. Well, we don't know if Bobby Wine or the leadership of NUP will say something about this suggestion or they are just going to let Mohozi get much attention from the public without countering him. Otherwise, my eyes are very wide open right here on the Buzz UG and I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, the Minister of Health right here in Uganda, that is Jen Rutha Cheng, has been attacked by Ugandans after revealing that as Ministry of Health, they need $652 billion to fight COVID-19 in the next financial year. Now, Minister Ruth Acheng says this money will be used to buy vaccines. Now, some Ugandans are saying the vaccines that we have been using were donated to us. So, where did they put the money that was allocated for vaccines previously? And others are questioning that when was the last time we received an update about COVID-19 in Uganda? You know, it feels like we no longer have COVID-19 in Uganda. But here comes someone requesting for billions of money to fight a virus that is no longer evident on ground. So many people are suggesting that uh, Minister Ruth Cheng and her cronies want to steal the taxpayers' money. I don't know what you think about this story, but honestly, to me, this is very shocking. 652 billions, that is a lot of money. Anyway, I'm following up on this story and I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, in other news, another university student from Chambogo University has died. Well, her name is Naigobe Esther and she was pursuing procurement and logistics management and she was awaiting graduation. Esther was knocked dead by a trailer as she was going to the place where she was doing her internship. Well, it should be remembered that in a space of one month, we have lost so far five university students and this is not good news. I think we need to be very careful, yeah? We are in very tough times. We need to be very careful, especially when you're crossing the road. Anyway, that is it for now. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and tap on the bell for all the notifications. In case you have any comment, the comment section is right there for you. Put it right there. I mean, the buzz is right here for you. Thank you.